Hello, hi, Jerusalem Jane. I am down by the Western Wall, the Kotel, as it's called also. And uh, it's Good Friday. It's a big day here in Jerusalem. Uh, we got Christians coming from all over the world, uh, celebrating Easter, the crucifixion uh, of Christ. And uh, I just made a video on the Via Della Rosa. And uh, I just wait, made my way down to the Western Wall because it is time for Jerusalem Jane to say to Daraba. It's time for Jane to say thank you, Abba Father, for relocating me from a small town in Denmark to your holy city, holy city of Jerusalem, to locate me, to plant me here, to call me here, to come and stand united with the Jewish people, to come here and share the truth to the world about what's happening in Israel. And let me just spin around a little bit so you can see where I am. Uh, it's a beautiful day in Israel. It's actually, it's a summer day and I'm wearing socks and my Converse. <laughs> I could be wearing a dress and sandal. It's really, really beautiful. But yeah, I just want to say I am in complete awe. I am happy. I'm moved to tears. I'm beyond grateful that I now am in Israel on a journalist visa and I have a press pass from the Israeli government. That is something that in my wildest dreams never would have thought was possible. But let me just say, when God starts start something, he finishes it. And we just have to be faithful and we have to take the first step. When everything looks impossible, we would like to have everything planned before we dare to move out of our comfort zone, before we dare to do anything, but it doesn't work like that. So you have to take the first step. When you take the first step, you get God's attention. You're moving yourself out of your comfort zone, and then God is going to be faithful. What he starts, he finishes. I am living, living, living proof of that after being in Israel for so many years. Still being here, living by donations from people who say we love Israel, Jane, and we want to bless Israel through the work we could see God is having you do in Israel. So yeah, you see the hotel and the Western Wall behind me. And I am beyond happy and I am beyond grateful. And I want to thank you all for your support for me, your prayers for me, for standing with me. Uh, because it's not always easy. But every day waking up in Jerusalem is just such an honor. So kiss and love and hugs from Jerusalem Jane. I'm going to go down to the wall now and just to say thank you to the God of Israel for giving me a journalist visa, for giving me a press pass to be able to report to you from the holy city of Jerusalem. Bye.